And welcome to my video review of the 172nd scale VF31J Siegfried Hayate Emer menus. And uh, it's a pretty cool kit. Um, a couple of things I'll say right off the bat. This piece of the cockpit comes off real easily and that's going to stay there. I've already broken that part twice. Um, once when I was just transforming it and the second time when I was doing the first part for... Or when I was trying to, when I was trying to do this review for the first time. That being said, I've transformed this multiple times, and that was not the first time I. Ch it, it didn't break the first time I transformed it, and I was being careful there. Next, the landing gear here is just plug on, and as you can see, he's got two, and one here. So I'm gonna take them off. So got that feature out of the way. I'll talk about this in a bit. And when I was transforming it for the review, the waist peg actually broke off, like right off the part. So I had to drill a hole in the peg and into the waist, and and the, um, super and I put a pin in there that fit the hole, and I super glued both of them. So it works fine now, and I mean, I'm, and I think I'm a little more confident about transforming it now, but still, I I want to be careful. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah. A lot of this is decaled like that. I'm not even gonna just point them out because it, it's a lot of decal work. And there's some that fold over, mostly on the wings here, which I'm really glad for because on the um, smaller fighter version, give me a second. So you can see on the smaller one, the wings just like blue, endless white. So I'm really glad they kind of wrapped around a bit. So it, it gives it a better look and put the landing gear in. It's just the knee pads that slide out. And flip up. Now this one, this door here is super loose. Like it, it gyrates whenever I move it. This one here is actually nice and stiff. But I'm gonna leave that open for the sake of easing this transformation. This part here is an action base one adapter. The part this attaches to, the instructions tell you to take it off during transformation to battery mode. If you're not going to use this adapter for a action based one, you can leave that part off completely, the grip frame part. So you have more of a perfect transformation. And see here, you do get the karate chopping hands. No, I, th I ordered a set of Dragon Momoko version 2.0 hands, and I th think there might be enough space to fit here. I think, I'm not sure. I haven't tested it yet, and let's see, oh, let's see, forgot, I almost forgot, uh, with the decals you get, your choices, I went with sticker hell, I said I was going to use these, but I think I'm going to use a couple of these, because some of them didn't come out the best, like, you can see a bunch of the stuff my knife did, did. and I might use this, especially on the uh, white here, the camera's shaking, I'm sorry. Down camera. So, yeah. And if you're wondering why the cuts here, I actually put them on the nameplate for the action base one. So, yeah, I bought an action base just for this. I love the Siegfried that much. And I think I'm gonna get one for all of the Delta Platoon. Um, yeah. So, I think that's about all I got to say for fighter mode. Oh. Um, to get a little bit of a size comparison, here he is compared with the Armada Starscream. Generation Slug Armada Starscream. And this is a big jet. In terms of toy, I'm pretty sure they're like similar size in real life. I don't know. And let's see. Um, that's about it for features, I think. Oh. Almost forgot. Um, almost forgot the ex foil stickers and the accessories. Right, for foil stickers, you actually get the four that go in here. You get the six triangles, one for each set of one for each hand. See, four metallic pink ones that go on the sides here, the legs for that little detail. They're actually supposed to be red, but they made them like metallic pink for some reason. And you get a metallic green one on the head camera and one for the visor. But I put them underneath. I didn't need to. I had to cut some of the pink here on the visor here 
this one I, I didn't have to do anything and see what the effect with that one that looks real nice with the visor it kind of works so, and let's see for the features and oh, get the hands out the way you get two fist hands and two gun gun cradling hands and you, I never use these <laughs> You get an optional for the option for the cockpit. You can have just Hayate in there or Hayate and Flea. I chose the one with Flea, of course. You get this bit that extends the gun pod out to make it look like it's slid out. An adapter for the action base one in Batroid mode. And that's about all of it. And the front bit here. This is the only piece of necessary. These are the only pieces of ne necessary parts forming because I don't see how you can get the fist in there with something this thin. And I don't even understand how this works. Like, other than anime magic, there's no way this could work with the uh, thing, weapon container. You could deploy the weapon container in this mode if you wanted to. And just like in the anime, you do have the multi drones. Though it doesn't look as good because these just slide forward with, ma with anime magic. And you have like a bunch of drones and all the drones are filled in, there's no just random hole. So, you get that on both sides, of course. And that's about everything for this mode. If I recall correctly, yeah. Um, yeah, that's about everything. So, let's get this into... Well, show it on the stand for a little. Whoosh. Okay. I got that done. To get it into Batroid mode, you unpeg the wings from here. And this one already wants to start transforming. Unpeg the wings from the legs. And you're supposed to slide them out, but I find that actually bringing them down does it for you. And you kind of, I think they're supposed to click. I'm not sure. But you could just slide them out. Actually, I think that slid out a lot. Yeah, whatever. Next, slide down the thighs. And since we're going into girl walk mode, you want to bring these down. Up and then down. Then slide this. That, it's my fault that this is kind of like splitting because I had these reversed at first. Because I had this on that side and that on this side. And they didn't. Yeah, that's my fault that some of the parts here are splitting. They should it on yours if you actually assemble this correctly. And let's see. bring down feet. Keep veering off to that side, I'm sorry. And open and bring the knees forward. And one great thing is that he actually can get an A stance, which is amazing for this kit. Because all the other Macross kits don't. All the other Bandai Macross kits can't get an A stance and this can't. And here he is in the uh, folding arms type of girl walk w without the actual arms out. And funny enough, I we see this a couple times, but I think we've seen it more with just the arms out. And after a short intermission, because I have to clear space, um, there's a panel here on both sides that the instructions tell you to take off. You don't need to take that off unless you're too lazy just to move the wings up a little bit. But these you do need to take off and put back on the arms. You could move the covers out manually, but I find that you could just take the hand arms out, trying to get a good angle on this. So yeah, that, it does help if you take it out, but I find just trying to take out the arm does it. And just move the wings up, bring this forward, wing is down, and close that back up. And do the same thing for the other side. Or take this piece of the jet and slide it out and push back in. Straighten this out. Now this bit here, you want the white on the side. Bring the camera better in place. Rotate the arm at the mid elbow joint. Straighten the hand. Or I'm gonna take this off for now. Standing here. Bring these forward. <laughs> the joints here. Again, it's because the parts are kind of splitting on mine, and that's my fault entirely. I, I was kind of like, well, these are clearly late parts. I don't need to look at the exact numbers. Uh, yeah, I did. 
and I should have. Let's see if I can get him standing now. Back to the camera. Because next we need to work on the weapon container. And here, if I just do this, only half of it will come up. Because the other half is still pegged in. And you need to take it out. And we'll work on this half. This one, you need to take the gray bit out somehow. And I use the knife and try to work it out without killing myself in the process. This is only 1% effective. This once again not that much trouble before. Usually I think. Oh. Okay, that's better. Alright, there we go. Bring this up. I'm supposed to click. Take this part, bring it forward, and take this. Well, let me better illustrate what I mean. Um, let's see. The way this is supposed to kind of work, there's supposed to be an extra panel here. Well, the design here that there's an extra panel there, but I don't see how it could work and still like open like this one. So I don't see how. And on both sides, you get a little bit of rotation here on the white part here. I don't really use it that much because the hinges in here, you can slide this back, but I'm a. This is more for Batroid mode, but I'm gonna do it now. But. You can slide that back and get like a ton of articulation here. But now you just need to move that up and just attach this. Now then, the stuff. I was able to. There's a gun here. The whole section, the whole gray, part, gray frame part, it's supposed to go up, and I think I was able to get it to do that. But as you can see, the white part came off instead. Actually, I think I got it to work now. <laughs> But you take off the front piece, you get this bit, put it in like this, no, like this, and then get this here and slide that in there. Don't knock off parts in the process. Doing a great job at this, aren't I? Now you're supposed to raise the white part up, and there's even a slider here on the inside of the gray bit, but it's more easy. It's easier to take this off than it is to slide that up. In fact, I don't think I've ever gotten that to slide up. I'll fix that later. Pick that in. This goes in a certain way. It's keep it going a certain way. Here, this is there. And try to peg it into. Put in the right one. This one is a key. Okay. It's real fun to see me fiddling around. At least then you know kind of what you're in store for. Should you get this kit. Should you decide. Alright, so. I gotta reattach the guns. I'm never 100% sure of the way these go. Like sometimes I have them like this is on this. Like. This side goes here. I'm just never 100% sure, but it doesn't really matter. As long they can, they're supposed to be able to swing around, and no matter which way you put it, they won't get in the way of that. But they are key to go in a certain way. I think, okay. I'm going to leave this one rotated around. Take out. I'll leave the karate chop hand in there for now. <laughs> See this one. Right. This one, I'm going to leave in the out position. Uh, if I can get it attached. I have a camera over me, so this, this isn't as difficult when you're going to have the model up to your face. But, um, let's see what I do with the fist. Okay, the one for this side. There we go. So, that's about it, and here it is in girl walk mode. I'm not going to cover articulation, but for the, there's a modern star scream in girl walk mode. I love the fact this can pull it off, and I don't have it as nicely done here as I normally do, but I'm trying to do this kind of quick, and I'm kind of going over the time I want to, but 
There's a lot with this kit. And of course, since you have the same stand adapter in fighter mode, this can't fit in action based, but that's about everything. So to make transforming this easier, I would rather take off the whole thing as one piece, but not make it fall apart. Oh, well. Out the, but make sure that goes in the hole, not the space. To take this out, you slide this forward and just Ah, this wasn't really that much of annoyance the first time. Now it's kind of being annoying. But um, you slide that forward, make sure this stays in, and it just you just take it up and it comes off. And to attach it to the fist, you um, it goes in like this. It doesn't actually hold it at that part. It holds it at the front bit. So it's kind of be at an angle a bit when he's when it's in his hand. And now for fighter fighter mode. We just covered that for bachelor mode. Rotate nose cone here, in front of the nose, and yeah, unpeg the legs. Make sure the blue part doesn't come out. There's a joint special in here. That's a special joint in here that lets the legs swing down. Oh, <laughs> take the crotch bit, bring it down, and it's on a series of hinges. It just folds in on itself. And then for the upper body, well, to get the upper body out of the way, for the lower body to swing, just bring this bit up. Now for here, take that bit, it slides out and it pops. This rotates down and this rotates, and this little panel has to go up. It doesn't go in as flush because of my modification. Yeah, you can see it there. It, um, a little bit of a pin, a little bit, the pin's getting in the way, but it's alright. Now then, bring that up. And with this, is a little bit of a clearance thing where you have to make sure that this is kind of passed at a certain point so that, the, so you don't have to rub the sharp points against here when it pegs in. But, let's see if I can get this. Okay, there we go. That was perfect. That went perfect. Here you can see my modification better. Oh, I also cut a little bit of a slash in there, so a little bit. I cut through it so that way it won't like just break again. And I'm gonna straighten the legs out now. They just straightened up at the top. Or they go back in at the top, and the knee goes back in. You don't put the um, leg back in unless you want that perfect seamless look, but it's supposed to be like out like that, and I kind of like it. I think, no, it's good. Okay. What was that? Now then, to make sure you can see what I'm doing with the upper body. You can kind of see the clearest inch of song about that extends down when this is all pegged in. So, just make sure that's like that. And this is... Yeah, the, the guns here kind of fall off easy if you're not mindful of them. But these two little gray hingy bits, canopy is not supposed to come off. It doesn't really come off that often. Sorry for <laughs> my hand in the camera. But these are supposed to be like perpendicular, straight down. So you gotta rotate them at the gray hingy bits. And it's on both and Make sure you do that on both sides. And take the entire back. Now then, um, you're supposed to take out, <laughs> you're supposed to have been taken out the gray frame. The gray framing part and the stand by now. But see, so slide the wings back, it just falls down. Get this over the body, open this out a bit, it'll help. And just help the head go up without knocking off the two little blue bits with the fairly sure that's full, full quartz. But bring that down, fold that in, rotate the head, and Let's see, I think that's it for the main body. Now then, for the wings, these, these back ones go up, or fold down. These fold out, and they double joint down. So they're flush with the body, and they go back. Same here, back, down, back, out, in. And there you've got a 
Mostly complete Val. Val. I was about to mispronounce Valkyrie, and I tried to actually say the mispronunciation, but I'm not even sure how I was going to mispronounce it. But you've got the BF31 Jason Creed in Metroid mode. Mostly. Still a little bit of housekeeping to do on this mode, which is get the gun in place, make sure the camera's in focus, peg this in, be angry that part didn't stay attached. There you go. And reattach the gun. This kid seems to be fighting me. And yet, I love this kid. Uh, I think I just undid that. Okay. I keep. <laughs> this is partly my fault because I keep forgetting the guns here. The gun. Gun pods? I'm not sure if they're gun pods. Things that shoot. Things that go pew pew. But I keep forgetting they're there. And. See, there we go. One problem, I think, pretty sure this is my own fault, because I've seen someone else's video and he was able to get to stand up perfectly, and on this foot, the leg opens to the perfect stance there. On this one, it opens way too much, and I have no idea how or why it is, because I know for a fact the parts are right. It's just the way these feet are always clipped on. I'm leaving these off. They're always clipped on, and I, the, the only time I didn't really have that problem in that part of the foot was on the VF1. I had my problem on the way the feet actually attached to those gray parts, but oh well. Now the one problem immediately. The second elbow joint isn't heavy enough, isn't strong enough to handle the weight of the gun. It can handle the weight of the um, gun here, but it can't handle it with, or can't handle it with the gun pod, period. So, the second elbow joint is more stiff. I'm taking this off. And I forgot to mention, you also get a little knife in there on both sides of the arm. And an articulation, you saw the head's on a ball joint. Well, you saw the head can go 360 and it's on a ball joint. Shoulders are on a ball joint that can go in and out and stuff. But if you have it pushed in, you can't really get a whole bunch of movement unless you want to ruin that decal. Well, you really can't move, move it, you'll just ruin the decal. So it can, it's on a ball joint, you can do what you need. And there's a shoulder joint that goes outward about that much. And the ball joint, it can go out more. Arms rotate there. You could, for if you wanted to, you could use the mid elbow rotation. I don't know why. You do get double jointed elbows. But the for second bottom joint's more loose. Rotation at the waist, at the first for Valkyrie. Ball jointed hips, that's nothing there. <laughs> See, double jointed knees. Double jointed knees. And a little bit of ankle movement, not a whole ton. That's about it for this kit. And I really I really like this kit, and I already got um Arad's Arad mol molars um molars on the way to my house well, it's not on the way yet but i have it shipped i have it in, in order pending with the green valve rave and hold on i'm sorry um let's see i lost my train of thought <laughs> so i like this kit i want to get all the siegfrieds and by far with all the macross kits which is the transforming ones that are the vf 25 and ones in this this is by far the most sturdy there are some fr fragility points being the waist peg but i think that's for a f me being an idiot but then again the peg had like gaps in it so it wasn't really it was kind of weak well, not weak it, it could take the weight of the kit but it was more it's not as durable as a full-on peg and before I continue, I almost forgot to show them on this. I'm gonna put them on the stand. Um, 
There. So, take this. There is a lot of decal work, and I think this might have the most decals for all of all the Macross model kits. I think. I don't know. <laughs> VF1 is, I'd rather not talk about it. And the VF25 is up. It's not going to be a VF25 for long. But, excuse me. This is more durable, and he is more fun. And he actually has the a stance joint which i love the fact that this kit has it because that's my main gripe with the other two is that when you get them in the girl walk mode their legs are just straight lines and it doesn't look as awesome as it should but this one i i, I like the fact that they actually did that and i feel more of a reason to put it in girl walk mode and the fact that it has a waist joint is really nice and of course, you want to be careful with the head antenna, but I think this is a really solid kit in terms of Macross. In terms of actual gun building, this is you want to be careful. I'd say, if in terms of Macross motor kits, this is a good start. I think the best way to go for Mac for the Macross kits would be this BF25, BF1, in terms of fragility. And I don't know if you want this get it. There is a Chogokin coming out in December for this one. I'm not sure when the other, the rest of the Delta Platoon. Um, someone walked in and I lost my point. <laughs> oh yeah, Chogokin coming out for this guy. Don't know when the rest of the team's coming out. Although, it seems in this scale they're 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 gonna finish them first, and then this one, and then the Chogokin. At least from what it seems, because we got Arod, Arod. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that. Leader guys, um, Valkyrie. We're getting um, Master's unit. We there hasn't been pre-orders at least for Chuck and uh, Mirage's unit. So I'm not exactly sure on the re release date yet. I'm pretty sure it will be either before the year is over, hopefully, or sometime early 2016 when we have all. Early 2016, early 2017, when we have all five of Delta Valkyries and model kit. And here he is with a, a model structure. And I, that's not how big he, he He's real small. <laughs> this is Black Shins blend in with the background. But, let's see. I, I'm going with the model kits because A, I can't afford the Chogokins and. And I like putting them together. It's kind of neat to see them go together. I actually have a model kit that can go together and transform. I know there's like Zeta guns in them, but I I think they're a little bit... They're not as awesome to see in transform because you look at the Zeta Gundam and you're just like, okay, that's a thing. It's clearly meant to be a flying thing, but it's not as obvious to turn into a robot as these. I mean, the, hand, the arms are pretty much completely hidden away in um, in uh, fighter mode. And I love Macross. I love Delta. I love Flea. Machina is, be is breast. I mean, best girl. So, that, and I'd say that's about all I have to say for this kit. Size comparison, real quick. <laughs> Papa. Thanks for watching and take care. Section with the wings. Slide that back.